What's going on guys, welcome back to a new episode of The Road to the Top and today we've got the DFB Pokal 5th round so we're gonna take on, what was it, Rhein FCE Rhein and it's gonna be pretty interesting and let me show you what we've done so far after we've met after the 4th round we beat Birgis Gladbach 3-0 we drew 0-0 with Schalke 0 and we beat Bonn in where a simple 1-0 and today we take on the vocal so here we go this is how the team is looking today we've got Grund, Gel, Gomez, Hahn, Pletachi the few on goal as always we've got Neuwirth as the deep line playmaker Benweg, Schlüsselburg, Engelmann, Platzek, Platzek and Endres is up top because we need to rest some players. So here we go, submitting the team. Let's have it and see if we are able to beat Rhein. And they are playing with Klante, Frank, Tuklu, uh, Mukoko, Breninger, Van Empel, Stille, Holschle, Visorek. Madante and Timo Scherping. Here we go. You should be winning this easily. I want you to give me a solid defense out there and I want you to grab me some goals. Uh, so, different sort of challenge. It's not for ideal to lose players due to suspension. Uh, I don't really know the answer to that. Also, I don't really care. Here we are at the football club Einstadt Rhein Stadium. And this is the first hand of the game. Grund is swinging in the corner. Mukoyo clears. Engelmann is going after it. On an easy pace. That deal was fast as heck. As Hahn now picked it up. Into Schlüsselburg. Back to Hahn. What's Hahn gonna do? Plays it into Platzaki. To Schlüsselburg. Platzak. He is being tackled. And now Wieserek takes over. Madente. Who is running forward? Oh my god, he's pacey. He's being trailed by a couple of players. Scherplings there. Han intercepted that pretty good. Wieserek now, who is taking a shot but misses by a few meters, I believe. And, uh, well, that was pretty poor actually from us. As we should have done loads and loads better. As Klante captured the ball apparently with ease. We didn't see it. But the highlight started there, so now he's going to take a free. A uh, goal kick. Here it is, launching it forward to Scherping, who is through. Only need to be, to beat one player who's shooting, but feels well wonderfully. And I'm not sure why they showed us that highlight because it was shit. As 20 minutes have passed now, and we haven't seen a lot, so we're gonna demand more from our team. And do please, let's replace. Platzek for Isa Young. As now it's almost half time, nothing really happened. Uh, final highlight here Kante to Mukoko forward towards Scherping, but Han intercepted Stiller now. Madente. Madente running forward, he is real pace, he's being tackled. But Scherping puts it up anyway, and the Fury only managed to bang. Oh, he got it anyway. Didn't know what was happening there, but he got it anyway. Launching it forward now towards Endres. Heading it to Engelmann, who is running forward on the sideline. Going a little bit inside. What's he going to do? Crossing it in. Young is there, popping it in, and bang that one in. Wonderful done. Isaiah Young there with his third of the season, scoring an incredible goal. That was beautiful. We see it here, Engelmann picking it up, running forward to the sideline. What's he doing there? He's going past him, crossing it in, and Young just volleyed that straight into the top corner. Wonderful done, and now we're leading, going into the second half here with a 1-0. And... I'm going to be assertively. We've got to guard against uh, complacency. Complacency now because they can be really good. And I think you got a lot more 
to give As Schlüsselburg Andres Schlüsselburg, it would be good for Schlüsselburg to score. Still being tech no, what is going on? That was some weird stuff going on. Klante is going to bang that one forward. Who is reaching it? Madente now. Going still going forward. Madente shooting and scoring a pretty good goal and I do feel we should have done better there. As I've told them to watch it and well they didn't clump it uh, going to get the assist as Madante just runs forward and he's not being bothered at all and then I got a feeling like someone glitched through him and he managed to score that one with ease yes come on guys I know you can do it you just need to work harder and better as I don't want another penalty uh, shootout Breininger to Wieserak back to Breininger to Stilla, all the way back to Mukuko, forward towards Daviri. Thank you very much. As I do feel he was offside anyway. As Daviri banked that one forward all the way over the top, can Andres picks it up? No, Van Empel. Forward towards Scherpinger, but Daviri then again picked it up. What's he doing now? Rolls it up to Han, going a little bit forward. Topping it towards Endres, but it's being intercepted by Stiller. Benwak picked it up and switches it over to Grund. Forward to Schlüsselburg, back to Neuwirt. Schlüsselburg, what's he doing? Going, trying to get it over the top. Endres picked it up, shooting and scoring. Yes, we're back up in the lead. 2-1 right now and Endres scoring goal number three. Wonderful stuff. Beautifully executed there by Schlussburg and Neuwirt easy one two and then Andres picked up that over the top ball and slides it in leaving their goalkeeper Klante Kulis 2-1 very good as I do feel we need to substitute Hahn so let's bring in who are we bringing in uh, Hildebrand as Hahn Takes a free kick. Schlüsselburg hats it in. Scoring his first of the season. His first senior goal. Absolutely wonderfully done. What a moment for Felix Schlüsselburg. Oh, and M boy, am I proud of him. He hats it home. Beautifully done. And he is going to be a force to reckon with. As we are going to switch out Han right now. Probably will be a little bit bothered about it, but... Well, we need two players. We're gonna put in Herzenburg there on that right side, and we also might substitute Flüsselburg because he is getting tired. Switching it up for Doro Grund with the corner kick. Hildebrand is there, but is this allowed? Is a disallowed goal from Hildebrand as he was offside. That is unfortunate, and we're gonna see it here. I think, yeah, he was offside by half a meter. I think it would have been an absolutely beautiful goal as we're doing pretty good right now. We're also gonna substitute that guy for Kunde if we're allowed. Yes, we are allowed as Stiller clears the ball all the way through us. Got three minutes of additional time left. Daviri, what's he going to do? He laid it down, gifts it to Gala Gomez. Into Doro. The ginger. Plays it into Young. What is Young going to do? Running all the way forward, looking for a second, but blazing it over the goal. Not reaching, unfortunately, the back of the net. As Reiner now with one of the final highlights, Neuhauser into Holscher, back to Holscher, Neuhauser Kahn, now back to Neuhauser, harder, being pressured by Endres to Stiller now, Doro going forward, pressuring him, Herzenburg intercepting a pass that was meant for Madente, with Young now going forward, what's Young gonna do, we know he got some magic to him, what's he gonna do there? 
He's being tackled there. Got a free kick. Van Ampel just really unfortunate with his tackle there as Kunde takes the free, going to take the free kick, whipping it in. Madente clears. Is anyone from us going to charge after it? Yes, Herzenburg there. And that is it. I feel like that highlight should have been longer, but well, it's FM. We all know it. As we beat then Reine 3 1, we are through into round six. And guys, I am very pleased with your performance and the way you've played this year. And oh my god, am I thankful for that. As we're now awaiting the media reaction, which always takes a little bit longer. So Michael Flutman now ask, is asking, what sort of impact do you think that getting a goal just before halftime, it certainly made my halftime a little bit easier. Guillermo Marente scoring a goal placed into the bottom corner. It, it was it was a fantastic strike. I have to admit that it was a fantastic strike because it was. It simply was. Eintracht is that the yeah, that's the real Eintracht Frankfurt, right? Yeah, wow. Eintracht Frankfurt needing extra time to win against Offenbach. Well, that's not what you see every day. Anyone else going through on ease? Con needing extra time against Lukenwalde. Not so, a big surprise there. Kaiserslautern going through easy. Kottenberg, Darmstadt, Halle. Beating Bayer, München, De, uh, 2. Hilden going through. Mines going through. Yeah, all good. Not real big surprises there. Apart from, of course, a few. As I'm not sure when round numbers... Ooh. They are in January, it's a double January. So I will see you guys at least in January for those games. Might as well show you two of the friendlies I'm trying to get in January against some teams from other football managers or from other football, yeah, other FM players, which would be good. So maybe we'll show you them first and after them the two uh, Pokal games. And otherwise, uh, you will only see the poker games. And guys, if you've liked this video, as always, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers!